Good morning, YouTubers. How you doing? Sorry I've not made a video in a while, but uh, just had some health issues and just uh, been away from home a while and uh, just uh, wanted to get back to it. Uh, I had a email I got yesterday, which it was sent out probably two weeks ago, and I'm sorry I was late on it, but uh, wanting to know how I run two refrigerators and two freezers off of just uh, uh, the Mega 5. I guess they're looking to get the Mega 5 right there. But uh, they were wondering, you know, how can I run it, you know, and it lasts as long as it does. But uh, what it is, is that, like right now, I'm running my Blue Eddy. I don't know if you can see that good or not. I'm at 98%. I just hooked them up a little bit ago. It's in the morning. And I'm drawing 05, 5 watts out of the uh, solar. But I'm putting out 394, 381, if you can see that right there. Get my finger right there, right there. And that's what it's taking out at the moment. Well, when you go in here, and I've got that freezer going and this refrigerator going. This refrigerator going. Plus that freezer. Well, you know, the, the one refrigerator here might be idle, not really drawing nothing. But the rest of them might be kicked on, the compressor kicked on, you know, working. So, you know, there will be a point to where either... None of these are drawing nothing, or maybe one's drawing 120 watts, and the rest of them's just sitting idle. So you're not drawing that 300 and something 80 watts the whole time. You know, a refrigerator and a freezer, they kick on and kick off. You know, out of a whole hour, this freezer here, it might kick on three times, maybe four, for about five minutes. And the rest of the time, it ain't drawing nothing. You know, yeah, the light's on and all that, but, you know, it's it might be drawing a water or two. But according to my Blue Eddy, it'll show zero. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. They're not running all the time. So, you know, you can take your uh, uh, Mega 5 and run these or your Blue Eddy or your Ocotel and, you know, the more you get in them and out of them, yeah, you're going to let the cold out and it will kick on more. But, you know, I'm here alone during the day, so, you know, I'm not really in it. But they'll, when I hook up the solar, literally, I can make this Blue Eddy right here. Now, I'm dead serious. It's right now 8.41 a.m. in the morning. This is a Friday. And... I can, I just hooked these up just a minute ago before I started the video. And with the solar coming in on a good sunny day, you know, and it's been that way all week. Today is a little cloudy. They're getting a little rain later. But the last few days, I've, I've hooked these up approximately 8, 830 in the morning. And with the solar plugged in, I literally can run this to about, well, I'll run it to about 8 nine o'clock at night and with the solar charging it literally i'll have about 50 percent to 40 percent still left in my battery when i unhook it from the blue eddy and hook it to my mega five right there and uh you know like i said you can do it it's easy you know as long as you've got the solar i have 700 watts coming in on a good sunny day that's my panel seven 100 watts and, you know, that's one strand. But I can charge three of these up at the same time, you know. And then a fourth on my side panels on the house. But uh, the person who emailed me about the Mega 5, let me tell you what. It's a good, honest generator. Uh, I, I'll plug, I unplug these during the, like I said, about 8, 9 o'clock at night. And I hook them up to my uh, Mega 5, the Oops Mega 5. And it'll run, let's say, from 8, 9 o'clock at night until I get up in the morning. You know, I usually unplug it about 8 o'clock, 
maybe 7.30, depends what time I get up, but early in the morning. And then I switch it over to another one. And I just keep going back and forth. I'll use this for my nighttime because it's so much bigger, it'll last. I ain't got to worry about it uh, uh, discharging and cutting off and then my refrigerator and stuff, you know, not having no electric to it. So I know it'll last till I get up in the morning. Even if I sleep in till 9, 10 o'clock, which I never do, but I'm just saying, I ain't got to worry about it. And then I just hook it up to one of my other 2,000 watts here. You know, I just alternate. But, uh, yeah, I just more or less run my refrigerator and freezers during the day, every day that I can. Uh, I try not to let them go totally empty if we've got three or four days of cloudy and rain. You know, I'll ease off because I don't want to get to the point where something happens and I've drained them all, you know, and I got to get out my gasoline generator. But another thing I wanted to show, and I can't remember if I've ever showed anybody, but the Pecron uh, E600 right here. I'm doing a load of clothes. It's at 96%. Using 127, 120 watts. You know, this thing here you can get for approximately 250 to $300. You know, if you go on their site, they have them on sale a lot. Uh, I think regular price, I'm wanting to say, is like $349, but you can get them for three for sure. I actually give tax, shipping, and everything. It was like $260, maybe $270 to my door. I caught this sucker on sale for $249, but uh, I run my washing machine off of it every time. I don't even plug this thing up to the wall no more. I mean, why? Why pay for the electric when I've got it sitting right there, you know? And I can get definitely four loads. There has been times I've gotten five, but definitely I can get four loads uh, out of this little sucker. Uh, these are good little units. A lot of people get on there and complain. Well, mine don't work and they won't uh, Fix it and all this stuff. I don't know. I can't speak for them. This one here has been a jewel I haven't had no problems out of it whatsoever. It is run every time and that is the Pecron E600 LFP life po batteries But yes, I, I run my washing machine every time off of it so, uh, if you're wanting to save a little money, you know, on your electric bill, this is a good cheap way. And if you look at my other videos, this sucker here, as little as it is, 600. And, and I can't think off the top of my head, but I'm wanting to say it's got a 1200 watt surge, you know, a peak. Uh, so it'll run stuff, but it will run this double door refrigerator for like five and a half hours, five hours, 15 minutes. And it literally run this refrigerator for 13 and a half hours. So I'm telling you, if you want to not spend a lot of money and break the bank, look at the Pecron. I mean, they're really good. I've even got the 2000 watt model, the E2000 Pecron, and it's good. I think it's like, uh, uh, 1,997 watts. It's right at 2,000. But I'll tell you what, the efficiency is great. So it really does match up with a Blue Eddy 2000, you know, or any of the other ones, the Ocotel. But uh, I just wanted to explain that. But uh, yeah, if you got any questions, yell at me. Uh, I'm telling you, these things are, are lowering. If you uh, go to the, the website, I'm telling you what, eBay... A lot of people take advantage of people. They're really kind of high anymore on eBay. And you really don't know if it's a new one or a used one, even though they list it new. But uh, I would go straight to the website. Uh, Amazon, maybe. But me, myself, I, I go straight to the website anymore. But uh, I've got enough of them. And uh, it's hard to keep making videos when you've already made them on them. But uh, the Anchor is a good one right there. But uh, I'll tell you what, the ones I've got, I highly recommend every one of them. You know, the Blue Eddy, it's great. I love these things. They charge quick, and that's why I love them. They do. They charge really quick. The Ocotel, uh, it's a good one. It charges a little slower. And right here is the new model of the Ocotel. It's a different name and all. 
but uh, the Enor, and I'll tell you what, this thing, it is very good. I'm really satisfied with it. But, uh, you know, I've only got a 440 watt panels coming into this one. It's a little slower charging, but, you know, hey, you know, I've still got other ones why it charges. So it really doesn't bother me that bad. But, uh, yeah, I just want you to look around if you are looking for one. You ain't got to get the best of everything. I'm telling you what, I went the cheapest way I can. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm very satisfied. I've not got not one problem with any of these. Uh, I bought one used Blue Eddy right here off of uh, uh, eBay. And it was a dud. It was used, even though listed as new. I sent it back. And then when I first got my Ocatel, my very first one right here, they sent it to me. And it worked for about two weeks. And it turned out to be a dud. It just quit working. But you know what? I called them up, you know, emailed and all that. No hassle, no nothing. They said, box it up. We're sending you a return slip. I sent it back. And approximately two, two and a half weeks later, they sent me a new one. And I've not had a problem yet. I've got two of them. But, uh, yeah, if you got any questions, just yell at me. And I do apologize. I've not made no videos in quite a few weeks. Uh, to be honest with you, I've had a double lung transplant a few years back. And uh, I, I went into rejection, and I've had to go out of state to a hospital. You know, I was up there for approximately three weeks on and off. So, you know, I just ain't been myself lately and, and felt like making videos. But, uh, you know, I appreciate your prayers. Uh, hopefully I'm on the mend. Going back to the doctor uh, Monday, get my results. But uh, that's how I got into the solar, you know sitting at home all the time, you know, you get bored and I bought my first one. Then I got hooked and bought my second one and you just keep getting hooked. But, uh, I'll tell you what, the way the uh, economies are looking in the country, I'll be honest with you. And the way all these cyber attacks and everything, I'm flat telling you, 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 you better get you some backup and that's no joke. I mean, you better get you some form of electricity, whether it's a gasoline generator or a solar generator, but uh, you need some sort of uh, sort of backup. I'll show you my panels if if you're new to the channel. Uh, I'm inside, and like I said, it's just old rainy, drizzly day. Right there's my panels on my building. Each line is 700 watts. That right there is just 200 watts right here below the window. That's just for a little backup, you know. If all of them's tied up, I can just stick it on there and let it trickle charge more or less, you know, right there. And then I've got another set of panels, 440 on the side of the house. But uh, I got enough solar, I can charge them up. But uh, like I say, if you're just looking to save some money, right here, you can't go wrong with the Pecron E600 LFP. I'm telling you, it's got plenty of power for the money. You know, at the most, I've seen these, at the most. 350 349 so you know free shipping on amazon if you go straight to pecron it, it's it's the same but uh just wait till they go on sale they're usually on sale for about 249 to 299 and i'm telling you i like them got a little phone charger on top right there you can see but uh three outlets you got your usb ports you know good to go well i won't keep you Again, I apologize for no videos, but I uh, hope to see you again. I'll be, uh, I've got some uh, new solar panels out in my building I ordered. Uh, I'm waiting until the weather breaks to build a, a ground mount stand that with, with wheels I can move around, but it's uh, three 200 watt panels, so 600 watts. And uh, when I start it and everything, I'll be making a video on it. Uh, it's probably gonna be a little bit because of the weather and all. But uh, hey, uh, glad you tuned in. Any questions, message me, email me. My email's on every video. I appreciate you. God bless.